Today we'll be going around this lovely townhouse in BF Las Piñas. It has five bedrooms, five toilet and baths, and a two vehicle car port. If you're interested, if you love the thumbnail, and if you're so far loving what this looks like, make sure you watch till the end of the video. Today we'll be going around this brand new house and lot for sale here in BF Las Piñas. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. So right now we're in a very quiet subdivision and as you drive along the street, this is what you will see. We will be touring this one of course because this is the one that is available. So from the street, you have your vehicle gate here on the left, and then on the right side, you have the pedestrian gate. Medyo kakaulan lang, kaya basa. So we're gonna... Hello, Doge! So anyways, so when you open your vehicle gate, you have here a two-vehicle car port, and it is covered via this uh, awning up here. And then over here on the right side, we have a garden with a pathway that will lead you around the back, which we'll get to later on. You also have a faucet here for your garden hose para mas madali na maglinis, which we'll probably do afterwards kasi nga medyo yan, maulan. <laughs> okay, so you have two steps up leading to your main entrance. And you have uh, basically a one and a half door here. No open din naman to, but we're only gonna open this side. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. So, as you enter your, or rather, as you open your wooden main entrance, you will instantly be welcomed by your living, dining, and kitchen area. So, it's an open layout. You have high ceiling with cove and pin lighting. And, bibitawan ko na to. There we go. And you will see some details like this vert these vertical slats here. So obviously, hindi yan yung TV nyo, no? That's just for the CCTVs which already come installed. But you can already imagine what it's gonna look like if you had a big flat screen TV in here with your couch set up and then dito yung dining area. And then you also have a built in bar already by the kitchen with a really nice and minimalist uh, lighting fixture over here. I love this. This isn't gonna go out of style anytime soon. And then you can see the kitchen itself. So you have an L-shaped counter space, or countertop rather. You have your provision for your refrigerator, and then cupboards, your range, your um, induction stove, induction, um, Tama, stove. and then your oven. <laughs> Excuse me. And then your sink is right here in front of the window. Now from your kitchen, from your kitchen, you have a door over here that will lead you to the back of the house. So if you remember, you have the garden, right? With a path. So if you the neon, you will be led here. And this is your service area. So you have your counters already installed, some storage underneath, and then a sink. Now this area 
as I mentioned, is covered. So you can also have your washing machine. <laughs> that is an amazing phone. Whoever owns that phone, lasso, lasso niya. Anyway, you can have your washing machine here para hindi siya na uulanan. And then meron na ring mga hanging rods, or, or rather, um, well, places where you can hang your laundry. So you don't have to think about that anymore. It's already installed. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. All right. So right next to the kitchen, we have here a door, and this one will lead you to bedroom number one. You still have high ceiling. You have a sliding glass door that will lead you out to the garden. You have your built-in wardrobe over here, and then you have a window, a huge window, a sliding glass window that lets you peer out into the backyard. So it's up to you what you want to do with this space. You can turn it into an office or a granny room since it is on the ground floor, or it could also be your staff quarters. It's up to you. And then right next to that is the toilet and bath with your sink, toilet, and shower space. Now this is under the stairs, and that's why the ceiling is interesting. And this also serves as your guest accessible toilet and bath. So the ones here on the ground floor can easily use that one. And then right next to that is the main stairs. So we'll now be heading up the second floor, but before that, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe. Now let's see, are my shoes dry? Yes, they're dry, so we can head up now. <laughs> right, click, like, and subscribe. Okay, so over here we have corner windows specifically for the stair staircase area and i love how it brings in so much natural light granted makulimlim pa ngayon ah, kasi the weather is quite rainy quite cloudy today but still the amount of natural light coming in is amazing you have high ceiling and you still have pin lights here one of them they're different eh? so one of them is for the general lighting for the stairs and the other is to highlight whatever art you want to place in here. Okay, now for the second floor. So here we have a short hallway with several doors. This is the first one we'll see. And this is bedroom number two. So you have this much space. You have awning windows over here. And then a sliding window, sliding glass window over here. And then on this corner, you have the door that will lead to your own suite, toilet and bath with your toilet, enclosed shower space, and your sink, which already comes with storage. And then, themed na yung mirror as well as the shelf. So that's sila matchy-matchy, I love it. <laughs> then you have your built-in wardrobe here behind the door. And now you can see the rest of the hallway. So it's not really much of a long hallway, no? it's just very upfront. So this one, interestingly, I don't know if you noticed, but it's glass. So I love that they chose glass because it makes it feel like such an open space. So this one can be turned into an office since it's glass, right? Or a family room. But if you need it to be a bedroom, it can because it has storage already built in. So that's your wardrobe. And it also has an ensuite toilet and bath with, again, a toilet, an enclosed shower space, and your sink. So it's a very versatile room. You could turn it into a den, a family room, an office, or as I mentioned, a bedroom. And then at the end of this hallway is another bedroom, aka the master bedroom. You have a lot of space to work with since it is the master bedroom, right? And you already have your accents built in. So obviously this is where your queen or king size bed is gonna go. Your end tables will go on either side and then you already have your built-in lighting fixtures is it, aren't they so pretty? It's minimalist as well. Again, it's not gonna go out of style anytime soon. I love that, quite timeless, very simplistic. And then on this side, you have windows and a sliding glass door that will lead you to a balcony at the front of the property. So it goes all the way uh, over there. You'll see the extent when you see the toilet and bath. All right, so over here, we have a walkthrough closet. So it's a hallway just filled with the built-in wardrobe. And then over here you have the ensuite, toilet and bath, with your sink, your toilet, and your enclosed shower space. So the balcony at the front extends all the way to this side. So basically the whole length of master bedroom, including a toilet and bath. Okay, let's go back. And still, 
Even here on the second floor, you have high ceiling. Even the hallway has pin lights and cove lighting. Right, so that's the second floor. Let's now head up third. Okay, so this is the final uh, landing, right? But I just wanted to point out that dito sa part na to, you can actually open some of the windows or a portion of the windows. This is a screen. So if you wanted the air to flow from here, it's bababasha to the second floor and also here, sa third floor. So that's it's a nice touch. So still lots of natural light and natural airflow. Okay. So on the third floor, we only have one solid wooden door, and it's this one. So this is the final bedroom, and you have this much space. You have two windows with awning windows, and then one sliding door. Uh, sorry, sliding window. And then on this side, you have your built-in wardrobe. And then the ensuite, toilet and bath. We have your sink. We have your sink. <laughs> your enclosed shower space. And your toilet. Baliktad din. No, good morning. Hi. <laughs> you can also say that this is the junior master suite just because it's, I think, the second largest bedroom in the property. And what's nice though is right in front of it, you have this much, you have this space. You can turn it into an office actually or some kind of reading nook if you wanted to. And then if you open this up, you will be led to the roof deck. Now the glass here is at the front of the property and you basically have a view of your entire neighborhood. Well, almost. Your neighborhood is like a daming puno. So look at that. You basically see tops of trees. So you can't really see your entire neighborhood, but you know it's a good one because you have a lot of trees in here. Lots of greenery. Shampre dahil nag shoot tayo meron na go construct sa malayo. If you're hearing buzzing noises, that's that's the drill. <laughs> okay, now with this perspective though, you can see that there are some details still. Kahit na hindi siya kita from the road, kasi shampre medyo this is further in, right? So no one really sees this except you and perhaps your higher neighbors, but. It's nice that this is here. It adds character. Okay, so that is it. All three floors covered. It is now time for a recap. Right, so you have 272 square meters of floor area and 174 square meters of lot area. Five bedrooms, five toilet and baths three stories and then you have a two vehicle carport which is covered you've got garden space on the side all the way to the back and speaking of the back you have a service area in there where you can safely store your larger appliances like your washing machine and as well as hang your clothes of course you have a bedroom here on the ground floor as well as a toilet and bath that is accessible for the guests in case you are entertaining people here in the living dining and kitchen area and again all of this is in bf las piñas so if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this send this video to them or if you want to see it for yourself send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com invest in your future invest with us invest with presello hey guys if you haven't already subscribed to our channel make sure you click here and if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> Wait.